Now it's time to get the blood moving into the big muscles of the bottoms and legs. This should increase your heart rate a little bit more. Again, good posture is important. Keep those shoulders back and head up. Try to really think about where your limbs are in space without looking at them, so don't look down at your feet. The first movement is based on the hokey cokey dance, so let's move those legs in and out and all about to challenge balance and coordination. Start with your weight evenly between the two legs. Stand tall, shoulders back, head up, and move all your weight onto your right leg. Then move your left leg in, your left leg out, in and out again. Now walk four steps forward, turn around, four steps back to the starting point. Give yourself a little shake out. Now repeat the hokey cokey on the right hand side. To keep moving, try to touch as many objects as possible in the next 30 seconds. Count the number of objects as you go along. If you're at home, this can be chairs, curtains, the table and so forth. But don't exercise in a cluttered room and make sure that all tripping hazards have been cleared away. Once this is completed, repeat the move and touch and see if you can beat your earlier score. It's a great idea to write down this number and every week you should try to beat it so that you are touching more and more things in the 30 seconds. These exercises should help to develop your overall fitness to avoid overloading the sound side and to enable safe loading of the residual limb.